Well, the Buffalo Bills schedule has been released, so let's start to dive into it right off the bat. Arizona coming to town for a Sunday one o'clock game to start the season. I love that for the Bills and for Bills fans. It's been a long time. It's been a couple of years since they've had an actual Sunday afternoon home opener. You got to go back till 2021. That game did not go according to plan, but the Cardinals coming to town. You get your first ever chance to see Marvin Harrison Jr. It should be an unbelievable atmosphere in Orchard Park. Then what I'm calling the gauntlet begins. This is something that I posted about on social media multiple times today leading up to the actual schedule release. Listen to this stretch at Miami Monday night. That's in prime time. Monday night football against the Jaguars, Sunday night football against the Baltimore Ravens on the road against the Houston Texans on the road in prime time against the New York Jets. That is tough. I think for the Bills, they just got to tread water through that portion of the schedule. Those are really tough games against really good quarterbacks. You go Tua, Trevor Lawrence, Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud, and Aaron Rodgers. If you can win half those games, I think you set yourself up for a really good chance of winning the division again and potentially trying to compete with one of for one of the top seeds in the AFC overall. After that, it gets a little bit more manageable, but there's really no light part of the schedule. We're talking about games against Tennessee, a road trip out to Seattle, Miami at home, the Colts. So some games that you should win, but also no games that you're absolutely writing off your opponent. And then after that, then when it, that's when it gets really crazy. Week 11, the Kansas City Chiefs coming to town. 425 in that CBS window. They love having that game there. That is one of the most highly anticipated games, not on the Bills schedule, on the entire NFL schedule. So it's Patrick Mahomes and company coming back to Orchard Park kind of later in the season. Then the Bills get a bye. The late bye is great for them because who knows what position they're in. I think back to last season, honestly, they needed the bye after that loss to the Eagles. It kind of reset them and then they went on a little bit of a run. So maybe the same thing could happen this year. And they're going to need it because the following week, it's Sunday night football at home against the San Francisco 49ers. So you go one team that won the Super Bowl a week off, and then the other team that played in the Super Bowl all within a three-week stretch. After that, then it's the Rams, a team that was in the playoffs. The Lions, a team that was in the playoffs. They played each other in the playoffs, actually. Then you've got the Patriots, the Jets, and the Patriots. So for the Bills, this is all about if you can start fast – and give yourself a little bit of margin for error, you could really accomplish something special. The schedule is hard, but we've known the opponents for the last several months now, so that should not be a surprise. It's just how it all pieces together. You need to start well, and you need to absolutely, at worst, go four and two in the division. If you split your games with Miami and with New York, you still should have a chance at winning the AFC for the fifth consecutive season. But you also have to remember, the Bills have the toughest schedule of any team in the division because they've got the first place crossover game. So it's a tough schedule for the Bills, but it is now finally out and we can spend the next, I don't know, four or five months dissecting it, picking the games as we see fit. But here it is. The Bills schedule is here.